Good evening, folks, and here is Casey Hudson's website on his new video game studio called Humanoid Studios. And I don't know when this came live, but it just popped up on my phone. So I thought I'd go through this beautiful looking website and talk to you about what you find on it. So here are this fantastic looking, I guess this is CSS controlled particle effects, I don't know, crazy looking background with a skull that looks like a techno structure of some kind and some astronaut looking fellow. Your journey begins. Here we go. Ooh, parallax scrolling. Ooh. Here we have the uh, Dr. Manhattan symbol rotating or maybe it's that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation of One Moon Circling. I don't know what's going on. Here's our vision. Humanoid Studios was founded on the axiom that creative freedom and independence led to be to better, more innovative games our vision is based on four fundamental beliefs. Okay, uh, fine. The future of entertainment is interactive. Um, I I don't I don't see how that's a belief. That's kind of like saying the future of eggnog is deliciousness. It's like okay, yeah, good good for you. I I also think the future of entertainment is interactive, but you know we don't have holodecks yet, so who cares. The most engaging entertainment involves wor worlds, characters, and storytelling, as opposed to just saying storytelling. Apparently, we have to separate these three things, characters, worlds, and storytelling. All right. Not, not, a, not a very solid ground for half of your uh, fundamental beliefs here, Casey, but okay. Innovative tools and technologies unlock interactivity that feels magical. I don't know if that's making the thing feels magical or playing the thing or interacting with the thing feels magical. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure uh, some games involve the fantasy genre. There is, in fact, literal magic. Uh, I don't think that's what they're trying to say, especially if it looks like they're making a sci-fi game. So, uh, I'm trying to think of the last time I played a game where I felt empowered to the point that it was a magical experience. I, I'm not even sure if I've ever had that. Probably not. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, going back to the Super Nintendo era, there were some really magical moments, like playing Chrono Trigger and this and that, but uh, not actual uh, interactivity. People do their best creative work when they feel safe and supported. Okay, so that's that's a good that's a good uh, solid motto or uh, thing to believe in when you're forming a game studio. We want you to feel safe and supported. That's that's totally cool. These other three, I'm a little up in the air about. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Parallax Casey Hudson coming into view. Here we go. By combining excellence in the arts, not the visual arts, not the fine arts, just arts, the whole gamut of arts, with innovative technologies, video games have the extraordinary power to transport you to new worlds of adventure. Okay. That's what first inspired me to make games. Oh, I thought it was a flying your planes. And it's at the heart of what we do at Humanoid Studios. Good for you. Um, looking good there, sir. Uh, very cool... Uh, Science fiction background, mountain, water structure thing. Very cool. Looks great. Have no idea what the hell you're talking about because you haven't announced anything. So as you can see, this website is lots of glamour, lots of glitz. No, uh, no substance yet. So the mission. So before it was the vision. Now we have the mission statement. Okay, here we go. Delivering magical interactive storytelling. <laughs> I don't know how that translates to science fiction, but okay, magical interactive storytelling by connecting talented creatives to powerful tools in a safe and supportive environment. So it's very similar to the first one. Um, when you think of creatives, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like marketing guys, those are called creatives because they come up with ideas to sell a product. Creatives usually don't build anything. Now, if the creatives are, in fact, the designers, then you can make an argument for them using tools like Adobe Suite or whatever to draw and, and color something in. 
if it's a developer, they'd be using the, the video game dev tools or an engine like Unity or Unreal, and they'd be prototyping and doing stuff like that. So if the creatives are in fact designers and developers, and they're using uh, video game engines to prototype, then awesome, you're doing a great job because then you have people who can make something and design something using the tools and showing it off as opposed to a bunch of guys who are basically idea men sitting around in a room and just throwing stuff at the at a whiteboard. That's what traditionally it is. So if, he, if maybe Casey got himself a whole bunch of dudes and girls or whomever who are actual developers, and that'd be cool. So our current project is a multi-platform AAA title focusing on character-driven narrative in an all-new science fiction universe. Okay, so he's doing a sci-fi story. Cool. And here's the new, the next guy popping in, uh, Isaac Moody, art director. At 10 years old, I was discovering my love of science fiction. Okay, that's good for you. People have discovered it early in life, earlier than 10. I know I was earlier than 10 and later than 10. So, cool. This is the project that would have made me proud at that age. Our team is creating a unique universe that I can't wait to share. Okay, it, it does look very, if this is like concept art, this is crazy weird. Um, this one, uh, the background for this is looks like some sort of bar on a space station. It has this very 70s, possibly 60s vibe, like 2001 Space Odyssey uh, thrown away concept art. And you've got these, these cubicles on the right, like at a library. And these, uh, I don't know what those, not bucket seats, but I, it, it feels like a restaurant vibe slash vi- library. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I am. It it feels odd. This giant veil of a of a bartending. Maybe you, maybe you're not supposed to look at the bartender's faces. I don't know. Maybe it's Cthulhu. And if you were to look at his face while he serves you a drink, you go insane. I have no idea. Our team, we believe in the power of small agile teams. Agile is a methodology in software development. Uh, it's thrown around a lot. Um, so that to me that means fast prototyping. At least that's what it should mean. It could mean many things to many organizations. And a flat organizational structure, uh uh-oh, where everyone is empowered to make decisions and help drive the project vision. So if you don't know what a flat organization is, it's essentially everyone works on the same level. Um, They would have people in different departments, but there's no one above each other aside from project managers. So there'd be projects and individual tasks, and those people who are all a part of digital or, or software dev or design, they're all together. There's no one bigger than the others. No, there's no senior, which is usually not a good sign. Uh, usually that's, that's not how things run smoothly. So it can work in small projects, not in big projects like AAA games. So I, I've never seen a flat organizational structure on a big project like a AAA title. So that's... I'm concerned already because usually you should have project managers and senior developers and then intermediaries and then junior developers and up and down the list you go for art and design and animation and, and etc. So not sure how that works. Uh, where everyone's empowered to help make decisions and help drive the project vision. We hire great people, empower them with the best tools, blah, 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 provide them with creative freedom, blah, blah, blah. Great, okay. Here's Melanie Faulkner. Faulkner, Faulkner, senior producer. Our culture is based on collaboration and communication. It's a safe space to create and grow. Uh, Lots of buzzwords, lots of nonsense, and this is not good. A flat organizational structure. And the background is Spaceman in uh, 70s vibing style uh, colony. Whatever. Join us. Canadian company, offices in BC and Alberta. Really? Oh, they're growing. Flexible work environment, combining from home, in office and remote work. Yep, that's pretty much every company in the past two years. We're looking for talented developers who are kind, creative, and self-driven. Developers, not designers, developers. who are eager to pitch in and help whenever they can add value. It sounds like you. We invite you to join us in creating a whole new universe of adventure. Okay, cool. So here's, well, okay, here's careers. So 3D artist, and then we have character artist, principal. So maybe principal means senior. So if if they already have that, 
Um, how do you explain a flat hierarchy if you have principles? I don't know what that means. Then we have environmental artist. Then we have environmental artist principles. So there are there is a hierarchy already. See, this is what I don't get. We have the same title, but one's a principle. So that's a hierarchy. So it's not a flat environmental artist position. Infrastructure programmer. Okay. Lead level designer. A lead. So you do have leads. So it's not flat. See, I, I have to know what the definition of flat is in Casey Hudson's Humanoid Studios. I couldn't tell you. Lead writer. Wow. So uh, 3D artist, character artist, level designer, writer, lead writer. Then we have principal technical artist. Okay, technical artist, very important. Senior concept artist. Wow. So who's doing all these amazing artwork then if it's not your senior, senior concept artist? What's going on here? Why would you need another one? I'm a bit concerned. Senior gameplay designer. Okay, yeah, that's kind of important. Senior gameplay programmer. Also very important. <laughs> senior level designer. So we have a level... We have a lead level designer, which implies a hierarchy. Then we have a senior level designer, which also implies a hierarchy. I don't know the difference between the two. I guess the guy's older. I don't know. <laughs> the lead, the senior, the meeting, the same thing, but okay. Systems programmer as opposed to the infrastructure programmer. Uh, what's the difference there? VFX artist, that's important. And a writer. So we have lead writer and then writer down here. And that's all she wrote. Here's Twitter. Um, contact. Uh, okay. <laughs> Casey, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it sounds like you wanted to create your own LinkedIn website for your game with no lead artist, designer, programmer, or concept artist. Uh, this is not looking good. Looks like a great website and... These are very high-end, high high concept because they're all black, or at least the, the background's black. That's usually the, a sign of a artsy-fartsy website or a model portfolio or you're showing off creative like visuals. Usually there's sliders and all kinds of fancy stuff. This just has a little bit of parallax scrolling with the backgrounds. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Have yourself a great day.